How's it going guys? My name is Savarsh and today we're putting on a $30 muscle car muffler onto my cheap Lamborghini's turbo kit. So shout out to the haters. So if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for showing up and I hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you like what you see. If you're not new to the channel and you know about my Lamborghini, then uh, you guys are just the best people and thank you very much for your continued support. Uh, as you can see, I have my uh, laptop up there because I was doing a live stream and I will be doing more live streams just in case I don't have a video out for you guys every single weekday. So uh, check that out. Um, actually, it's in my video uh, queue feed. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's my last video. So uh, go check that out. I answer a lot, lots of questions and I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys in the next one, hopefully we can get this thing started in my next live feed. So, in case you guys didn't know, this is my 2008 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, and we are making a turbo kit for it. Not really a kit, it's more of a completely custom system uh, from scratch. Now, this car did have a turbo kit when I got it, and it was also a custom kit, but it was designed quite poorly. It, it wasn't really designed with performance in mind, uh, and it really allowed for a lot of stagnant air to get in places where there shouldn't be stagnant air. And I think what we did is improve it by a lot. So uh, again, when I say we, I don't mean me. I mean a friend of mine that uh, you guys know and now you guys love. His name is Tony. Tony, the Welding Jedi. So uh, Tony and I have been working on this car for a little while now, and here's what we got so far. Now we have this uh, up pipe, or rather down pipe, uh, for the left and right turbos. We have that tacked up, we have this tacked up, there's plenty of room here, and we have this awesome twin 180X pipe in the back. Now, this is not what the exhaust is gonna look like. We actually have to make this follow through on the uh, curve right here. We have to make this tuck underneath the turbo. We're gonna put a, uh, a resonator right here and then we're gonna have it come out into the world. And that's where you're gonna hear the sound of this Lamborghini's people. Now, uh, what we have to do today is we're basically cutting this right here and then uh, just putting another angle. Uh, so we're gonna angle it outward and we're gonna angle it down. But I wanna show you guys something that I'm gonna use for the quieting of the exhaust system. And that is this. This is a Cherry Bomb uh, glass pack. And for those of you who don't know what a Cherry Bomb is, it's been used by a lot of muscle car guys in the 60s and 70s and 80s. And they kind of went away for a while and then they came back in vogue uh, with the muscle car crowd in the early 2000s, late 2000s, I, I'm not quite sure. But these are pretty good resonators and uh, they're, <laughs> they're really affordable. This one was like 30 bucks, so I have two of them. And uh, we are going to be installing them on my Lamborghini. Now, I don't think that any Lamborghini has ever had a cherry bomb on it, a uh, cherry bomb glass pack on it. So I think uh, we are we are setting trends here, guys. But um, I'm not too convinced that I need this on there, but uh, in case it doesn't fit or fouls on anything, then we can, uh, we can always delete this and just go uh, full party mode all the time. But I'd rather have this on there uh, just so I have some semblance of uh, noise quality and my, my ears don't burst into flames every time I run this car. So uh, <laughs> yeah, right now, let's, uh, let's get cracking, let's get cutting, and uh, let's get welding. Okay, we have a little change of plans, and I know you guys really, really wanted cherry bombs on this car, but I think we're gonna have to go on without them um, because they seem to be a little bit too big. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, this is our uh, 180 section, and here is a section that we cut out from a 90, basically it's a 45 or somewhere thereabouts. So uh, if we put this on here, this will be directly in the space where we need it to be, then I put this onto a, a another 180 piece that I got from a second kit that I bought. 
and that will basically put the exhaust exactly where it needs to go. Well, we need to cut this off and, and put this out to the side, but this is basically how the, how the exhaust is gonna look. The problem is the cherry bomb is pretty big. It's pretty sizable. Uh, even on a three inch pipe, it fits over it. So this is probably like three and an eighth or something like that. And uh, it's, it's really, it doesn't really give itself a lot of room underneath the turbo. So uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna scrap it. Uh, for now, I'm gonna scrap the idea. But what I can do is um, if I need to put a resonator in, there is gonna be a straight section here. So I can just take out a section and put that resonator in and then it'll quiet it down a little bit. Now, this wasn't doing a lot to begin with. I mean, you can see it's a straight through, look at that. It's really, really straight through. So uh, I doubt this was gonna do a lot in terms of uh, muffling the sound. Uh, it was gonna do a little bit, but I think the most muffling that this is uh, this whole system is gonna have is these turbochargers. So I know these cars can be super duper loud and I don't want uh, a drony mess, but right now I think, I think we're just gonna have a straight pipe and uh, it's gonna be party mode. It's gonna be party mode, guys. All right, guys, take a look at this. We have a little bit more progress. Actually, we got a lot done, but it's a little bit less than I thought because we didn't get those uh, cherry bombs on, but uh, it's gonna look good in any case. Take a look at that. That is a really good angle. And just so you guys can see, I have the rear bumper brace here and it's not hitting anything. It's not fouling on anything. I know you guys love it when I say that. This is gonna go right down there. And just so you guys can see, I have my 180 here uh, so I can mock it up. And the 180, we just cut it off like right there. And then it's gonna come out of the bumper that's sitting up there. Oh, this is gonna, look so good, but uh, we can't do this part right now just because it is getting a little late and Tony has been working all day. And uh, he, he comes here after his full-time job where he works like 10 to 12 hours a day and he, he just does this stuff. So I, I can't thank him enough. Uh, but this is basically one day away from getting everything ready, uh, everything tacked up. And then we need one more day to uh, just weld everything up. And then this thing is gonna be completely done. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have to clock these turbos uh, I'll give you a better look. So I'm gonna clock these turbos so they uh, actually go in the orientation where they're supposed to, meaning that the oil drain is gonna go on the bottom, oil feed on the top, and the coolant lines, all that's gonna be ran. I'm going to clean this all up, meaning that it's not gonna have all this nasty corrosion because it is iron. I'm gonna coat this in something. I have a special coating, a special heat resistant coating that I'm gonna use. And maybe I'll change this color, I'm not sure. I'm not too keen on the black wrinkle on the turbos. I'm just gonna use the stock, well not stock, but uh, the original uh, turbo blankets right there. So there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm gonna use that for that. And then I'm going to coat everything when we're done. So I'm gonna coat it with a ceramic paint. And also I'm gonna wrap some sections in uh, heat resistant wrap, uh, the, the fiberglass stuff, uh, in order to give it that much more uh, heat resistance, I guess. So uh, for those of you who are wondering, this is a fuel cell for a junior dragster and it's a one gallon. So I'm gonna have this instead of the five gallon ice bucket that I had for the uh, intercooler. And this is gonna sit somewhere around here. Now this is plastic, so I'm gonna have to coat this. I'm gonna have to uh, maybe get some of that gold heat foil and I'm gonna have to wrap this. So we'll see how this works. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but who knows, this is all an experiment, but I am loving the way this turned out. Check this out. This looks like a, it looks like a hundred thousand dollar turbo kit. This looks exactly like something you'd get in a UGR or 
something uh, something that people would pay a lot of money for. And this is all DIY, all 100% doable in your garage. And I have only uh, Tony to thank. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments if you like it uh, just as much as I do. I don't think you like it as much as I do. That's impossible. All right, guys. I'm not sure if that was a uh, shorter episode. It might be, but... Uh, this is the reality of working on these things. Now, I did do a live stream earlier today, so you guys did see that I did some uh, spark plugs. Uh, you got some spark plug action, and I answered a few questions. That was a lot of fun, so uh, stay tuned for more of those coming up in, uh, I believe, on the weekend. I think we can do those on the weekend, but uh, I'm loving the way this turned out. I, I, I can't stop gushing, and I cannot wait to get more done on this car. So uh, in the next episodes, I'm going to be buttoning this thing up, and uh, we're gonna be getting it ready for its first inaugural start after I take everything apart. And hopefully I didn't forget any bolts. So uh, <laughs> wish me luck on that. But if you'd like to contact me, you can do so at The Real Tavares. That is Instagram and Twitter, facebook.com slash AskTavares. And AskTavares at gmail.com is my email. Email is probably the easiest way to reach me, uh, but I do read every single one, even though replying might be a little bit hard just because there are a lot of emails I get on this car, so uh, just uh, be patient. Or um, you know, if it's something like a, like a comment, just know that I appreciate it very, very much. You guys are the best. If you'd like to buy a shirt that says that you are the warranty, this one that says I am the warranty, then uh, you can buy one in my Teespring link down below. If you'd like to listen to me talk and ramble for about half an hour with a really good partner, Andrew Howell, you can do so at the Wrench Everyday Podcast. We have episodes every single weekday, so uh, yeah, all that stuff is going to be in the link in the description below. But until next time, this is me telling you that on cars that now have awesome, awesome piping for a custom turbo kit, you guys need to wrench every day. Oh,